Hi Simple Life Ministry, Lorna here, back at you with another video. So today I am so excited. I have this video to do for you and it's becoming popular right now and it's about breadfruit. Um, this here is a roasting breadfruit and this, these are yellow hearts, yellow heart breadfruit. So normally we would uh, make the, what, what sign is this? You would make a, a sign, you, know, you do this and this and put it out in the sun and let it drain and that way um, when you roast it, it's more tastier because the sun has, has um, penetrated and so it's, it's usually nicer. And um, so I have been hearing these stories about, first I got three three persons says to me Lorna have you tried um, steam um, boiling your breadfruit that's the new style now instead of roasting it on the on the stove or baking it in the oven or or making up the fire the coal fire to roast the breadfruit there's a thing now where you put it in a, a, a pot of, of water and you let it um, boil and it's like it tastes like roast breadfruit and I was like what I cannot believe this thing so anyways um, two person have told me about it and then another friend um, sent me a video and so I have to give credit to that video because I've never seen it done before so I want to thank that person my friend for sending me that video to show me so I, I sat down and I write down some benefits of breadfruit. So breadfruit is good for weight loss, to reduce high blood pressure. I did not know that. And you could also make tea with the breadfruit leaf. But they're saying that the leaf should be quail and it should not drop on the ground. So I don't know how much of that part. And um, it boosts immune system and it prevents diabetes. So for those of you who haven't been having breadfruit and you have any one of these issues, go and get some breadfruit. And it also have um, lots of fiber. That is what I know. And omega-3 and 6. So usually we are familiar with roasting the breadfruit, roast it and then fry it or bake it. But now we are going to do our, our, our oh yes. This is a little boiling one that I have for soup. So don't forget, we boil it. And I also make breadfruit salad. Breadfruit salad is amazing. You just make it the way you would do a sweet potato or a regular potato salad. And I make breadfruit punch already, but the breadfruit has to be almost ripe for you to make the breadfruit punch. And so, I put a twist on the video that I saw because the one that I saw, she, she put it in a pot of boiling water and she just let it boil and then she turns it and let it boil. But here now, I put mine in my instant pot because I want to, when I taste something, I want to taste the, the richness, the fullness of the flavor. And so, let me take these breadfruits off and come on in here. So I will tell I will put in the description how much water I put in the instant pot. So what I do when I'm steaming, I usually um, boil my water first on the stove and put it in the pot and then I put the steamer in so that way it, the, the, the steamer can just start working right away. It doesn't have to stay there and build up before it starts to do its work. So here it is now, Simple Life. And see when you go down, you can see it comes out clean so you know that it is cooked. And see the skin look like that? So that's how you know it is ready. And I did not cut it because I want I want the flavors to be to be um, retained inside. Oh, it's cutting so nice and easy. Don't. Ah, 
the first time, let me just say this, the first time I did this video and I was not supposed to eat at that time and I said, I said to my husband, um, not, not that it wasn't the time, but it wasn't part of my regimen to eat breadfruit. So I, he said to me, Lorna, you should try, you should try. And Simple Life, I tried it and it was the best breadfruit I've ever eaten. So that's why I said I have to make a, a video of it to let you know. And honestly, um, in the video, the girl, she, she, um, she peeled it. She peeled off the skin, but I don't want my skin to be peeled off because there's so much benefits in this. I don't want to lose anything. Furthermore, I ate it with the skin that night and it was that, that evening and it was so good. So now I'm just going to take out the heart. There, there should be a way we could eat the heart too. That's another thing. No, when something... When we find things that are good for us, we should try to have all of it and do not waste anything. So look at this, look at this family. And because it was um, about to ripe, you can see the, the parts there. Oh my gracious, I can hardly wait to try it. That's how, can you tell that it's hot? Because. <laughs> Oh, so simple life I just want to see look see it's very even the heart when you test the heart you know for sure that it is cooked so let me go ahead so, so this is actually steam this is steam this is not boil mm. and because when you steam something and especially if you do it on a low heat you you maintain the, the, the rawness more, the enzyme, the freshness, the realness. When you put it in water, you're boiling out, whatever you're boiling is leaving back in the water. And so therefore, that's why when I boil anything, I try to season it up so I can drink back that water to get back everything mm. that was leached in the water. So now, this is steamed breadfruit. Look at that. It's mm. look at that simple. Uh, should I try? <laughs> Why not? It's really yellow hard. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Not Let me tell you simple life. With this, you actually don't need anything to eat it. You can just go ahead and partake of it just like this. It is so good. So wherever you are, if you are in Canada, you can get the breadfruit at the Danforth Fruit Market. If you are in the States, I'm not sure where you go, but I are in England or wherever you are in this world. But try to get some breadfruit and try to steam it because it's amazing. And even if you do not have the this one and you and you can have something like this. All you do is just put the, the breadfruit in it, put the water under the bottom, and just cover it. Hopefully, your steamer is bigger than mine. <laughs> yes, and just cover it down, and just turn it down, and leave it, and let it do it, its thing. So this is my way. I've never seen it steamed like that. I've seen it boiled. But I wanted to change up the way I see it and just to show you how you can benefit from bread food. So this is all for now. Simple life. Any question, any comments, let me know down below. Thank you again for tuning in and um, bye for now. And you can peel it, but you don't even need to peel it because look, it, it's soft, it, the skin is coming off, so you, you, you don't need to, to peel it off. So, I just want to let you know that. So, Philly, I gave it to you. Did you like it? Yes, yes, I did. It was good. Okay. Bye for now. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on your notification bell so you know when I come back with another video. Thanks. Bye for now, family.